G'day, welcome to Easy Jeezy, Map and Made Breezy. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at making a categorized map, in this case, a, a map categorized by different types of land use. Okay, um, so hopefully we get through this really quick because I've got a landscaper to come to pick up some dead trees and I, I don't want to miss him. I don't want to be stuck with these dead trees any longer in my yard. So let's get started. Um, so again, we're working with our Petropolis uh, data, our sample points from the town of Petropolis. Okay. Uh, in this case, I, what I want to do, we're going to open up, right click on our sample points, open up the attribute table. And in this case, um, we're going to be making a map based around land use. And obviously these are all strings are all text uh, values for each of those points. So we can't really quantify them like we have in other types of maps, uh, or like we can in other types of maps. So we're going to use categories for this uh, particular visualization. So let's close down the attribute table, right click on our sample points, go to properties. Okay, in symbology over here, let's click on single symbol and change to categorized. Okay, and in this case, our column, we're going to do it by land use. There you go. We can choose uh, random colors, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. The symbol we're going to look at later. For now, let's say classify. What it's going to do, it's going to pick up all those different values that we get here uh, from that particular column. So in this case, the land use column. It's got all these different types of land use. Okay, um, you, you just what how how they appear in the legend, if you like. Okay, um, and then if we click apply, you can see it automatically classifies them according to. Uh, these colors, so in this case, this random color ramp, but obviously you can change something like that, which doesn't actually mean it's very good. And uh, let's get something like that. It could be slightly better, but still we probably want to make it even better than this. So best way to do it is to go through and let's double click on the symbol of the particular thing. So in this case, let's go to green space first, double click on green space. Now we could just leave it as a green circle. Maybe that's sort of self-explanatory maybe we want to give it a little bit more context. So once we double click, we can change the size, opacity, color, etc. If we click on simple marker, and then here in our sing, uh, symbol layer type, let's go to SVG marker. So basically having an image there, scroll down, and you've got a bunch of images which you can choose from. And let's choose a tree. It's a pretty self-explanatory icon or symbol. Okay, we can change our fill color. Let's make it some type of green. Okay, and let's change the size. Boom, boom, boom. These are locks that are up together and you can see the preview up here. Maybe, what are we gonna go for? About eight and a half maybe, or eight. Let's go, yeah, let's go, just drop down there to nine. Click okay, click apply, there you go. Boom, so all your green spaces suddenly turn into little trees, okay? Uh, and then you can go through and do all the others in a very similar fashion. So hospitals, you can double click on that. Click on the marker up here for the drop down, go to SVG marker. And choose something you want to represent hospitals. Maybe it's a cross. Okay. Change the color. Maybe make it red. Like that. Click apply. Oh, it's a bit small. Let's double click on it again. And let's bump that up to, let's say eight. There we go. Okay. And then you make your way through all those categories. Okay. Adjusting the symbols as you see fit. There you go. So it's a pretty good way of making a categorized map. So in this case, a land use map. Okay. And I hope it helps. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Ciao.